We gaan weer aan het verder. En ehm. Uh... Ja, gister, gisteravond was het niet. Ik was gewoon te moe om te spelen. Ik vind het spel nog wel leuk, maar. Soms, uh, soms is het wel eens vervelend. Motherfuckers! Gisteren kapot aan lachen met die gezichten van hun. Hè? <laughs> Funny shit. Zo begint het dus. Cheap ass fucking death. Hey ja, dat is zo grappig als ze dat zeggen. Hey ja. Oh je bent er al. The fuck kom je? I'm not even close. Not even close. Not even close. Look, I'm not even close. What? Oh my god. Hey, what you move on? What you move on? It makes no sense. Hey yo. Hey yo. I 
hij gaat niet dood. Nee, tuurlijk. Hij zet hem maar met zijn neus op. Oh my god. En dit is de reden waarom ik eerst eigenlijk bijna geen zin meer had om verder te spelen. Hey ja. Got him. Hey ja. Uh... Let me guess. It's a cheap death moment.
Hey, yeah. the jackhammer no there's the jackhammer better give me that thing real fucking quick the jackhammer Love it. More jackhammers. started to ring. Woden was waiting for me on the steps of the old building. Mr. Payne, let's go inside. The others are anxious to begin. The others? Despite the general misconception, this building actually predates the city hall by two years, thus being the oldest municipal building still in use here at the foot of the Brooklyn Bridge. No kidding. The old man played tour guide as he led me through a dark, domed hall. The answers I was after loomed large ahead. Mr. Payne. I would like to introduce you to my colleagues in what we call the Inner Circle. You've been watching too much X-Files. You have seen the files on Project Valhalla. We can fill the gaps, provide you with the information missing from those files. We were all involved in the early stages of the project during the Gulf War. What's the catch? We would very much like to blow this thing wide open, but our hands are tied. Her name is Nicole Horn. She was the key figure in Project Valhalla. When the funding was discontinued, she simply refused to quit. She knew exactly what she had in her hands. Nicole Horn is the president of Acer Corporation. She has more than half the city in her pocket. This must be kept under wraps. If you try to go public with this, we will deny any knowledge. We need you to take her out. Afterwards, we can protect you, make all the charges go away. 
Oh yeah. That was the cue for the killer suits to kick in the doors and swarm inside. It was an impressive floor show, but I decided to leave early anyway. It was only a one-story fall. Lucky me. Damn. The inner circle, though. My friends. My new buddies. One of the monitors showed what was left of the inner. On screen, the so-called corpse of Alfred Woden stood up, miraculously waking from his dirt nap, looking smug among his dead pals. In the land of the blind, the one-eyed man is king. I didn't know how he'd pulled it off, but it was a pretty slick way to get out of all his promises. Most of what he had said fit too well to be a load of crap. Excuse me. The exit. Yes, I'd like to go to I'd like to go there. Oh, you can keep that where you where you had it.
videotape lay on the desk. Nicole Horn had blackmailed the inner circle into silence. The tape came with a curt extortion note on a piece of expensive paper. I remembered Candy Dawn taping her clients in action on the side, selling the tapes to the highest bidder. I was sure that kinky sex was nowhere near Alfred Woden's worst sin, but I had a feeling that when this was over, any collateral would come in handy. Woden had left me a present. Nothing seems to stop Acer Corporation's phenomenal victory march. Incredibly, the stocks are still rocketing. Worried experts already see a danger in the company's success. Some have gone as far as to say that Acer Corporation is about to become an even bigger monopoly than Microsoft ever was. Microsoft. <laughs> Woden had taken care of my mission preps with military precision. The critical areas in the Acer Corporation headquarters blueprints were circled in red. The president's office was at the top of the building, right below her penthouse suite. The elevators were controlled by a security computer, part of the mainframe located underground below the building. The high-rise was sealed as tight as a sci-fi fortress. I had dreamed of revenge. Those dreams were always nightmares, of coming close and then failing. Now I was close. I had a name to guide me, Nicole Horn. I had nothing to lose. The 
inner circle had quite a track record. Project Valhalla had not been the only thing the inner circle had been involved in. There were rows of cabinets full of files. The Serpentine Secret Society went back a long way, always pulling strings from the shadows. I couldn't say I was sorry. Woden's move in some Byzantine power game had cut the circle's membership roster to one. The old man wanted me on cleanup duty. It was my mess too. You've seen one, you've seen them all. Sure, good for a practice run. But then request assistance.
take him down. Shoot to kill. Let's finish this. Sir, you're making a lot of noise. <clears throat> Sir, you're making a lot of noise. <laughs> Mine wasn't the most original approach to the problem. It wasn't as if it hadn't all been done before. An eye for an eye, the first principle of revenge. Old as dirt, still going strong. The cardinal rule in going after someone with an intention to kill was not to make it personal, which it almost always ended up being anyway. It did with me. I took my time cruising around the city in the snow. There was no hurry. I knew what I had to do now. I took my time thinking about it, building up the rage. When I was ready, I parked the stolen wheels at the front entrance of the Acer Corporation headquarters. Got out, got in, got cracking. I had a bullet with Nicole Horn's name on it. I had 10,000 bullets with the hag's name on them. She had ultra-high-tech security systems, enough mercenaries and weaponry to start World War III. There was no fear. New York disappeared behind a veil of snow. I had crossed the threshold. This was her domain, sleek and sexy and soulless, all glass and steel. A place of color-coded security key cards, metal detectors, and surveillance systems. Colder than a walk-in fridge, cold as a gun. This is so the Matrix. This is totally the Matrix. <laughs> well, not as it's uh, for vandaag. So, opslaan. And uh, volgende keer uh, gaan we het spel uh, uitspelen, denk ik. <laughs> <laughs>